it's pretty annoying to set your phone down for a bit only to pick it up later and see it at 30% battery because apps have been busy bees, syncing data while you were out. I'm Joanna Smith and I am here to help you understand what it means to be idle. It's common for modern mobile apps to be in a paused state when they aren't active and they have no pending notifications or foreground services. But what may be new to your ears is doze mode, which lets the entire device take a breather. Doze mode works on the assumption that when the screen is off and the device is neither moving nor charging, the user probably isn't using it. So the device decides to focus more on preserving the battery than syncing for new information. To achieve this, doze mode delays things like sync adapters, job scheduler, and alarm managers so that they don't burn through battery when the user isn't even on the device. But to be clear, doze does not disable these services, they just get deferred to a later time. These jobs and background services are paused and queued until Android exits doze mode, for example, when the user picks up the device again. However, if doze mode is active for a prolonged period of time, delayed jobs are batched up and executed periodically. But for some apps, timing is critical, and so the Android framework offers two ways to get important work done, even when the device is dozing. Google Cloud Messaging can bypass Doze behavior with messages that are marked as high priority. In a social app, for example, the notification of a new follower or a comment probably isn't vital, whereas a chat message could be critical. So if it's worth having the user get up, cross the room, and pick up the device, then you can consider it high priority. And other apps have time-critical operations that they need to do, such as prompting notification at exactly 6 p.m. In cases like these, you want to know that your alarm manager has your back. Now, setExact will not trigger on the moment if the device is dozing, but only when it exits doze mode. Instead, use and allow while idle, which will trigger even through doze mode. But aside from these two scenarios, there isn't much that needs to be done about doze mode because your app is not being ignored or skipped, merely delayed until the device itself is in use. So the core of the work that you want to do is actually testing your app to be certain that your app's recovery from doze mode is as graceful as expected. So to help you with this, we've created new ADB commands that enable developers to step through the stages of doze mode programmatically. So check the documentation for details. And that's really all there is to dozing. Nothing too scary and not too much work for the developer. So if you're targeting Marshmallow, you may need to add a few and allow while idols and upgrade the priority on certain messages. But mainly, just check your app for surprises and continue to build better apps. Mm -hmm.